The Green Folks Network presents Turtle Talks. What's going on, world? It's your boy, Big Stash Banks, your host with the most. I'm here with a new episode of Turtle Talks. And I have today my man Charles. How's it doing, man? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. For sure, for sure. Let them know about you and your brand and what you got going on. Okay. Um, my name is Charles. Um, normally, uh, Tubo Art. I uh, started a recycled tire events company. Um, what I do, I just create props, furniture uh, for events uh, on, in the entertainment business all in one. Um, I started this business in Africa, Nigeria. That's what's up, man. And uh, I'm just working it. Like, um, be, I've been in Atlanta for two years. Okay. Two years. Um, I've done a couple of events here, but um, this is like my main year where I, um, I'm about to exhibit more, you know, show people what I do, showcase. I've been mainly building, okay. testing it out, seeing how it goes. Yeah, testing and, the orders um, and stuff. Yeah, so um, that's it. I think... Uh, this was my, Purple Turtle was my first big client here. Yes, absolutely. Um, I think they met me on, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, it was uh, Offer Up. Okay. You know, um, I used to test my products on Offer Up and those are kind of um, grown up uh, toys. Okay, yeah. If you so, were. like, um, Pop culture, furniture type mm -hmm. thing. Um, like the flower and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like um, the Mario. Mario. Spider Man. And um, yeah. So uh, um, they ordered like a few pieces for me, one or two. Then all of a sudden, you know, it came with three, four. Then all of a sudden, it was a house full. Yeah. So, um, you know, they were really my first big clients. And yeah. from there, that was what happened. We definitely appreciate you. Thank you. Ironically enough, the day that you're here, we have everything in the garage because we just took all of the all of your furniture over mm -hmm. to uh, uh meet the underdogs mm -hmm. big shouts out to gambino and meet the underdogs we had a, a live event where we actually uh where I had a satellite purple show so we had all of your stuff mm -hmm. the uh mm -hmm. the mushrooms mm -hmm. the uh you know the table the the stand you know mm -hmm. the uh, game stand you made so really appreciate you man you definitely you. had us you know, you. laced thank and you. had us looking right over here at the purple show man for thank sure you. so about to say so you've been doing this for you said you've been in Atlanta for two years, but how long have you been actually working with the tires and, you know, doing your own business? I would say, I would say five years. Okay, so five years total. Five years. In total, five years. Um, um, The first year was basically about what the product would, would be about, you know, um, what direction to go because I'm, mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't consider myself a, a furniture builder. I would consider myself more of an artist because... Um, I'm, what I what I use to build my furniture pieces are things where you know yes people have it as furniture but people won't consider it as furniture. Yeah. So pushing that idea that it is furniture is what the business is about. I feel that. And trying to I guess figure that out in the beginning is what you were trying to do. Yes. And stuff and yes. Play. So that was my first year. Then the second year is like okay well how am I going to sell it if I'm going to you know um, create for to stock. So supply a store, or am I going to um, create just for entertainment purposes, so stage, uh, okay, yeah. things like that. And uh, I came up with a plan, and now the company, what the company does, it's, it, I supply. I, uh, um, companies, you know, that want furniture, but want furniture on themselves, I do private labeling for them. Um, I rent to events, uh, staging, uh, um, and to... My current project is uh, festivals and events. Oh wow! Okay. You know, so you know, five. You know, the problem with waste is what I'm trying to tackle. Yeah, that's the whole goal. So that's the whole goal. So mm -hmm. find ways to use tires to to recycle, to recycle and stay green, and make more products. Yeah. And you know, there's so many tires out there that I need to get to. So oh, I was yeah, looking for me. Yeah, I was trying to look for a bigger surplus, like 
how I can get the tires out more, mm -hmm. how I can, you know, reach more audience and how I can get more numbers because oh, yeah. I mean tire recycling business you have to try and do numbers. Oh yeah, absolutely. So. And so I guess my question is with you being five years in, mm -hmm. is this where you would expect to see yourself when you first started? Is this kind of like your five year plan? Is this or do you feel like you've exceeded it or do you feel like, you know, where do you feel like after five years in? Because a lot of people, you know, it's a blessing to be able to say, you know, be a business person in five years. Every time somebody starts up a company, they're like, well, five years, I want to do this or that. So what would you say, how would you feel like? Do you think that you've achieved what you wanted to? Or, I mean, five years, it's in the, in the business world, five years is a short time. Yeah, that's for sure. So I would say somebody that has a passion for business, I won't say that they always feel like they've reached their goals because yeah. they always want more. They're always, the goals are changing. Always. Yeah, so yeah. goals Updating. are always changing. Yeah, so sure. am I where I want to be? Well, no. Yeah. Am I better than how where I was? Hell yeah. Absolutely. Nobody I'm sure. really did this when I was, like, I would look now, you know, like, I would look back to Africa where I really started and I'll see people doing certain type of things. Yeah, you know. but it's not yeah, the, It's not the same, but... I mean, it's nice that I created an opportunity where you can actually do that. Yeah, a platform, a lane. You, you know, will. so yeah. like in the beginning, I would go to events and uh, I would have to stand all the time. And I'm not a standing type of guy. I, I enjoy the show, but I don't want to stand. So I started bringing, you know, my furniture pieces over, but to the events. And I yeah. brought it as, uh, you know how you have a cooler? Oh you yeah. Go to events, mm -hmm. but mine I'll be dragging my like a seat, so I had like a uh, a cooler type stool oh. in the beginning, mm -hmm. so I could seat myself. Then all of a sudden, I asked some friend like, you know, why don't you just bring stuff for me? And I would bring stuff to events, and events later on, I would say, okay, you know what? Let me start being a vendor at these yeah. events and bringing my own furniture. Exactly. And I did that, and other people joined me on it, and I started renting it out. That's how my events rental business started in the beginning. Oh, so up. it's like for me it's like a, if you have that goal set you can work your way up mm -hmm. but you always you're always hungry for more Absolutely. so if the question was you know am I where I want to be no am I better yes you know but I mean I think that's the goal for you to be better than where you oh always always I mean it's always about elevating and like you mm -hmm. said the, the goals update you know when you mm -hmm. start to achieve and start to see yourself clicking on certain cylinders mm -hmm. you start wanting to do more and achieve more and you know so yeah. i definitely understand for sure that's yeah. for sure what's been one of your like toughest challenges as far as you know being a businessman and especially in this industry people uh, most definitely as always people unfortunately but i mean it's like, it's also a blessing because you you still need people. Yeah. You know, so you just have to see how you can weed out the right ones mm -hmm. and the bunch. Then, yeah. you know, even the ones that you don't feel are right, one day they can be right for you. It might just not facts. be the time. Big facts. You know, so my number one thing is trying to understand how people work. You know, because for me... I don't have customers, I have clients. And that's a big difference. I just want you to just touch on that because a lot of people that run businesses or do things, mm -hmm. they don't understand that fundamental difference between a customer mm -hmm. and a client. Mm -hmm. If you could just touch on that, just personally how you... A how customer, you a customer is a now thing. So give me what you got now. Quick, in and out the door. A client is... Me and you are touching bases forever, so your growth is my growth. If today, just like now, I'm hoping I'm growing with the proper turtle because, I mean, once they go to a bigger place, they take me along with them. Absolutely. Once they, once I enter, have, I have more business on my side, I introduce that to them mm -hmm. because I know since they're my clients, I know what they want, I know what they're exactly. trying to get, I know where they're trying to go because I have a relationship with them where I can always... Um, find out their needs. Exactly. So if you don't keep that connection, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Keeping that connection to tomorrow, they might have a you know a contract. They say, oh yo, my boy Charles, I got yeah. you. 
and I'm in. And make that referral. So it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, the, it's the long distance relationship with a client is a noun thing with a customer. I would like a long distance relationship where, you know, if you're dealing with me now, you keep on dealing with me until, I mean, until I die and my company becomes me. Exactly. And you're still dealing with me, still. in a way. Mm-hmm. Just like how uh, even like Johnny Cochran at the Cochran Law Firm, he's gone long gone, but that name is still stayed and that, yep. that brand. Yep. But yeah, like you said, it's the the key word is relationship, y'all. Y'all definitely got some gems from the boy Charles right here, man. A, a client is somebody that you build a bridge, a bond, a relationship with mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. lasts a long, uh, long even a distance. lifetime sometimes. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It, it even passed down to generations. I mean, you look at the Lakers with Dr. Bus and Jeannie Bus, who, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? That's that's a, a you know situation right there, for example. But mm-hmm. customers, you know, that's more of a, uh, like you said, a, a time expirational thing. You know, people come in, come out, they get what they need right now, mm-hmm. and they're going about their day. But a client, definitely make sure you want to build relationships with and, you know, yep. try to keep them, you know, around in, in good graces for surely. Yep. What's, um, what's been one of your biggest achievements that you feel like that you can be like, you know, I did that, you know what I'm saying? Like you, that you could definitely, um, you know, that you're proud of for sure. Making it a thing. Mm-hmm. It was not a thing. Yeah. This is a, a brand now, new thing with what you're doing. This yeah. is a whole new, you found your niche for sure. Being able to say you started something that can make other people money Absolutely. because at the end of the day you know uh, they say what well, imitation is the best form, form of flattery, flattery. yeah you understand mm-hmm. but that imitation it's you using what i put out to that to benefit yourself mm-hmm. so for the fact that i can if you copy me you can make something out of it you can you can feed yourself you can solve your issues you can you know make something of yourself that would be my biggest accomplishment. Yeah, because you definitely provided a lane. I mean, that, uh, the artwork, and then we're going to show you all some clips of, you know, some of the work that Mr. Charles here has done, especially the work that he's done personally for us. We're going to go ahead and show you all there. But the 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 quality, man, I mean, it's, it's amazing what you've done and what you're able to do with recycled, items i mean on top of that like my my team personally is called green folks so i love 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 the idea that you're using recycled materials and and being green and you know taking care of the earth in that form and then it's coming back is like art it's beautiful i mean who would ever think that you know what i mean when you drive past a tire shop that that is exactly what that could be you know what i mean in the end when he when he you know when it goes to mr charles hands you know what i'm saying but yeah it's it's a beautiful thing for surely, and I just I want to thank you again for having us looking great over here for surely. Thank you, thank you, definitely. thank you, thank you. I mean, um, it's a good relationship where, you know, as an artist, all sometimes all you want to do is communicate, have whatever is in your head, out yeah in the open because I mean. We as artists, we have a lot of things in our head. Yeah, it bouncing around is hard so, to actually get yeah, it out and at the end express of the day, it. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, you want to achieve most of it before your time is up. Oh, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. so that relationship where, you know, a client gives me a chance to, you know, erect a, a, a bigger model or, you know, give me a house and say, you know what, well, I want to see what you can do with it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's always appreciated because Absolutely. then, you know, that's my dream. Somebody has said, you know, I like what you're doing. Shoot me. In physical form, literally, yeah, and so. if you can express yourself freely, and that's like you said, that's that's a beautiful thing to just yeah. be able to be able to do what you love, and to actually be successful at doing what you love is yeah, that's the blessing. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Well, thank you, man. I thank you, thank you, thank you again for coming through, man. Definitely let the people know where they can find you and follow you at uh, Instagram. Oh yeah, uh, T U B B E R on the slash uh, art, yep. A-R-T. Um, I do some YouTube here and there, but it's mainly for like educational purposes, you know, if you want to learn how to do it, if you want to learn business. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to um, start in a way where it's more business-like because um, okay. um, I'm trying to help more people get into the habit of 
recycling mm -hmm. and trying to let people know that it's actually a business you can actually live off it pay yeah. rent off it make money off it you Absolutely. know because um um in the beginning when i started in africa in africa you pay for your own waste oh wow so if you're going to get some tires i gotta pay for it but wow. here i didn't they actually that. pay me for to take it yeah they should i mean that's i mean even it's with, called it's, it's it's called the uh disposable fee yeah so they give you like uh three dollars for tires like the little, like and i even see on the cans where it says me five cents and stuff like that's the same thing there yeah. you go okay, yeah. yeah that's mm -hmm. it that's it so yeah. in, the, in the beginning when i planted i planted as oh you know uh, I'm going to see how I can do it, but when I get here, it's mm -hmm. going to have to pay me. So now it's like, okay, yeah, you know, when I go get like a supply, somebody's supply says, you know, give me uh, 50 tables. If I go there and take 50 ties, I got 50 ties times $3 already. Boom. Before I start. Free game, y'all. I'm telling you. And you're doing a good thing. You're doing a good deed. You're being a yeah. good Samaritan at the same yeah. time. So it's, and I know that just all around on all cylinders, that's just... Yeah. Amazing, yeah. man. Yeah. For real. So, I mean, this is it's the beginning stages, yeah. you know, still looking for business partners, still trying to, you know, achieve a bigger, a bigger goal because, you know, mm -hmm. I started small and now I'm trying to expand, expand it, though, you know. So, you know, the people thing now is the, I'm at the phase where people. I gotta deal with more people. You gotta, yeah. you know, who you're dealing with. You know, people trying to sign you on the contract. Yeah. So, you know, I'm I'm hoping I could be able to uh have a platform where i can like state my journey and other people you know follow me and yeah. see how you can do it and see how i can make money and you know help people solve their dreams too exactly you can kind of be like your kobe you're, you're jordan but they can be your kobe's their your your uh you know yeah. understudies if you will uh, i'm looking for somebody to take it to another level so i can be following exactly you know because yeah. i mean i mean I, I I don't want to be the only person that's being learned from. I want to learn from somebody else too. That's, you know? that's I got to grow too. So exactly. somebody show me something. Iron sharpens iron. That's for sure. So, yep. Yep. Yeah, I definitely I definitely dig it, man. Well, again, man, I appreciate you, Mr. Charles, for thank coming you, thank through. Thank you. Thank you. For surely, for surely. This has been another episode of Turtle Talks. It's your boy Big Stash Banks. Please don't say the five. Your host with the most. You already know what's going on. We are gonna get out of here. That's a wrap. The Green Folks Network presents Turtle Talks. The Green Folks Network.